Assalamu alaikum. Today we will see about ICJ, International Court of Justice. ICJ is one of the six organs of the United Nations and its headquarter is in Hague, Netherlands. The activities of ICJ are governed by the Statute, uh, Statute of International Court of Justice. Uh, there are 15 judges in this court and uh, they are appointed for nine years. Now let's talk about the jurisdiction of ICJ. The jurisdiction of ICJ differ from the jurisdiction of any domestic court because it its juris, jurisdiction depends on its member state. When the states provide their consent impliedly or expressly, expressly only the time uh, ICJ can exercise its jurisdiction. There is no international organization which apply its jurisdiction compulsorily on any state because every state is every state is sovereign the jurisdiction of ICJ may be classified into two categories contentious jurisdiction and advisory jurisdiction article 36 of Institute of International Court of Justice discuss about the contentious jurisdiction and article 96 of United Nations Charter discuss about the uh, advisory jurisdiction of ICJ uh, let's see at first advisory jurisdiction of ICJ we see it from the UN Charter directly Article 96 of the UN Charter provides that the General Assembly or Security Council may request ICJ to give an advisory opinion on any legal question. Okay. And Clause B of this article says that other organs besides General Assembly uh, and Secret Security Council and other specialized, specialized agency may also request for such type of advisory opinion before ICJ even the state which are not member may ask advisory opinion to ICJ uh, under certain condition okay in advisory opinion on prohibition of nuclear weapon ICJ declared that no on no state can exercise nuclear weapon except during just or and self defense in advisory opinion on prohibition of construction of all ICJ declared that the wall constructed by Israel on the territory of Palestine is against international law these these are these were the best example of application of advisory opinion jurisdiction of ICJ. There are some other cases where ICJ uh, ICJ applied it ICJ applied its advisory jurisdiction such as reparation case and so on. I have already discussed the reparation case previously. You may watch it from the link given in the description. Now let's see the contentious jurisdiction of ICJ. This type of jurisdiction may be classified into three categories voluntary jurisdiction, compulsory jurisdiction and optional jurisdiction. ICJ apply its ICJ applies it voluntary jurisdiction in those cases where 
the parties of the cases voluntarily referred the case and they granted their uh, consent to obey the jurisdiction of ICJ impliedly or expressly okay article 36 sub article 1 of the statute of international court of ICJ talks about it and compulsory jurisdiction article 36 sub article 1 of the statute of ICJ in later part talks about compulsory jurisdiction ICJ applies a such type of jurisdiction in those cases which are inserted under the jurisdiction of ICJ by UN Charter and International Treaty okay then the optional jurisdiction of ICJ the source of optional jurisdiction of ICJ is article 36 of article 2 of the Institute of International Court of Justice let's see it in the article 36 of article 2 of the Institute of ICJ directly this jurisdiction depend on the consent of parties so it is called optional jurisdiction of ICJ ICJ will have such type of jurisdiction in following four cases the interpretation of treaty any question of international law the existence of an effect which if established would constitute a breach of an international obligation and fourthly the nature or extent of reparation to be made for the breach of an international obligation okay Thank you for watching, please don't forget to subscribe, thank you.